my thing on the bottom lane alone. He'll go with a stun. Okay, did you really do this, Zorin? They have the follow-up stun. The adaptive strike went out. Zorin trying to survive there. Goes with the... Uh, whirling that one more hit. They will remove the salve. And last will in the end focus him down. He goes for the healing salve. Turns around with a stun on the Phoenix who has a dive. And HRP will not be committing this Dragonite. Setting up the lanes. Now deep into the bottom lane. They got a stun on the Phoenix. They have follow-ups as well. But they overlap the stuns. Lan is going to be fine. He survives and gets the kill. He wants to kill the Phoenix who doesn't have a TP. So he's just committing to get as much as gold as he can. The donkey trying to run away. But he will die in the end. 17 seconds until the Icarus dive. But we're going to be seeing a chase between two flaming heroes. Last has the boots himself and he has 10 more movement speed than the Phoenix. The stun not being used up just yet. He'll go in first with the Dragon Slave. He needs to get a hit off. The uh, Phoenix will be getting different uh Different hand in this game, Last getting chased. They have a torrent, it will not connect. Last gets into the trees and he'll be fine. Now going for Lun. They have the stun, they have the Ethereum, and then they have the kill. Max Neverlight not using the ghost ship there to save his for Alina. That's just not that hard to grab. They go for the Kunkka. Can he connect with the Remnant? No, they'll go in with the Cookie first. Resonant Bolt is not ready. The similar damage will be there. Both will it be able to do something? Not really because set up for now for the stun. Still not being used, he doesn't want to reveal his positioning, giving it now finally the mana to put the staff far and to the void spirit. Torrent not connecting, X never like getting gone on. The remnant will be there. They have the cookie fall off. We'll go with that first. They have the stun now. What a kick back from skill A. But with the astral step, they want to finish off X never like he's being a little bit cocky there. The the dragon slave. That was close. X never light getting dangerously low. The uh, Void Spirit going in will be catching Skill A, but has to move away right now. The roll does not connect. Dodo has both of his spells in a second. The Scatter Blast Skill A is super low. He will die there to Dodo's uh, little shredder. And the Phoenix Fire Spirit will not prevent him from destroying his Earth Spirit, but Dodo will still pay with his, his life. It's going to be a support for a support. Thank you. Versus Zorin. These two have been going at it for quite some time, but. Yeah, Grandma coming in. Maybe they can get the kill. Yukio turns into a Tempers on himself. A beautiful cookie. And Yukio, he wants the kill. Does have the waveform. Turns again. Has another Whirling Death. It should be enough damage. And with the Adaptive Strike, Yukio just uses his spells perfectly. On the bottom lane, the DK will get gone on. The Torrent does connect. And here comes the boat as well. It should have drowned the DK with an X. Pulling him back into his death. And Lun getting that. What's happening? They were getting the tower on top from IG Vitality. And then finishing off the Spirit in the mid line to, to the place. He'll, uh, he'll be able to claim that one. Does have the gold. Health is ready, but Butterfly Fat, he's gonna catch it. They have the follow-up stun. Zorin is just dead before the hood comes in, even if he had the hood there. But, but again, bottom lane. Spectre goes down with a TP from last. That's coming to the mid lane. He wants this tower down. He has a Yasha. He's quite strong. They have the uh, cookie as well as that spirit vessel. And Kunkka will die without getting the boat off. Butterfly effect. An easy grab for him. But in the end, Dodo gets that one. They do have the Mortimer's Kisses right now. Morphling come. IG Vitality is ready. And Butterfly effect inside of an Invis. He wants skill A. The younger brother might be in some trouble with a spirit vessel. The damage will be enough. Morphling turns into a Timber Sock. He's going to be okay for now. They can't kill him. They're going to go in the back for Dodo, but in the end they'll be uh, happy by going for the morph. He still has some of his agility to morph into strength, but is in some trouble. Can he get away with a waveform? He'll be fine, and now you're overcommitted. Young PH in so much trouble till the egg will come out. Dodo, can he finish it off? No, the egg will pop. They killed Dodo, but lose the Spectre in the process. So the morphing survives. It's gonna be a disaster. Yukio now, he's gonna morph back and Lun trying to get back onto the low ground. You might have been able to do it once, but this time around, the Adaptive Strike will kill you. Last, going for kills. Three points in the Fiery Soul. He's quite fast. Gets the stun onto the Kunkka. There's no boat. This guy, he isn't even drunk. All of the damage will be going in him and Yukio gets a double Zorin running away. He knows how much this guy hurts and will get himself to safety. But that means the Dead Tower is dead and Yang on Arena 5. So the uh, slow will be there from skill lay but he gets caught with a follow-up Dragon Tail. I don't know what he was doing. There's gonna be an LSA as well and Butterfly Effect. Fink. Now smoke towards the Kunkax. Never like he just wants to enjoy the farming boat. Not gonna be coming out. LSA, Laguna, and everything in his face. The Astro step there just to make sure he dies, but he was dead even before that one. HRP getting gone on. Magnetize doing the damage. They have the Sunray Cookie trying to help him a little bit. Here comes the Mortimer's Kisses. Dodo coming in with a little shredder, and he'll shred that deck to pieces. Now it's gonna be a one for one, but actually, when Yukio comes in, a two for one instantly. Skill A going for the roll, but a nice stun from Yukio. You're not going anywhere, and the Dissimulate finishes off the kill. The fight. Snapfire gets rid of the ward, trying to get away. Does have the 
Joker King gets away from the Torrent. Dodo is still alive. Gets a nice shot onto the enemy's D. Spectre coming in. Dodo will die. HRP will eat a ship. Do a face. Young PH going for last. Now they might get a nice fight going their way. Last turns around with a stun. Will get in on the Spectre but dies in the process. Now the Kunkai in some trouble. He's gonna be drunk for some time. But still, in the end, he will fall. Nice blinking from HRP. And now they want to go for Zorane as well. Getting stunned up. Going nowhere. Will get kicked back. And then onto the low ground. In the end, HRP gets the kill. Skill late. No roll. And his life will be taken away by HRP as well. Now we see the difference in terms of farm. A beauty are just so much stronger. They're jumping in when it's younger brother and the HRP is there as well. Even if they miss the Ether Remnant, they have sad do you must feel. The Earth Spirit will be going for the uh, Spirit Vessel, but will he ever be able to get it? Zorin getting caught. Here comes the Morphling with a shotgun. That hood will not keep you safe. And with 5 0 and 8, 9 0 and 9 on the Void Spirit, they want to go for more X Neverlight. Hello, the stun from Dolina doesn't connect, but either way, he'll never get the boat off. At least let the man. Was that close, but they get the stun. They're coming in with the Astro Staff. We'll go for Skill 8. Now, the Ethereum does connect. Spirit in some trouble. We'll have to roll in 8 seconds. The simulate damage will not be there, but the cookie does connect. Yukio has the shotgun. If he just sees the Earth Spirit looking as their tower is being brought down, and Yukio not afraid of anything with the Aegis in hand. Even as the Manta now jump on the Kunkka again. Where's the rum gun? He needs a ghost ship to survive this one with the Crimson Guard. It will be okay. And the HRP will be the second casualty in the fight. The egg will be on the high ground, so it will definitely fall. And the rest of IG Vitality need to run away. Last will be going down. And now the Morphling in some trouble, but he manages to get a morph off. Yukio is still alive. Still has two lives. And now the Spectre will fall. Him and Butterfly Effect just starting to go ham on each on everyone. The uh, Rum will expire right now. So they'll be taking a ton of damage on the supports. The X will be used. Who is it on? It's on Butterfly Effect. That's a very mobile hero. Yukio going for the Kunkka. X Neverlight in so much trouble. Taking a ton of damage. The Spirit Vessel preventing the kills. But X Neverlight on the high ground will be okay. Yukio without mana cannot continue the pursuit. Yang on with one buyback. They will be from stuns to kill him. That's just the lacking of their lineup. Last will get caught. That's a perfect first target. The Spectre is coming in and last gets deleted. Doesn't have the buyback. Now the egg is going to be focused. Morphling and HRP. They're going on in the HRP. Trying to kill it one more hit. And we'll be able to get the grab. HRP though. Surrounded by the Spectre. The Desolate damage kicking in. And he will die there to the Whirling Death. Now Yukio going in. But has to be very careful. Given that all of his teammates are dead. And now any vision here. And Yangon really don't. They don't see the enemies at all. They basically don't see anything around the map. They're gonna get the stun on the Earth Here comes the Morph. Has the, sh has the shotgun and they get the kill. The Kunkka will be next. Nice setup. Didn't use the Ghost Ship just yet. We'll go for the Crimson Guard. Here comes the Tidal Whale. Keeping them away but not for long enough. And he gets brought back in. The Morphling stealing the Tidal Whale himself. Now he goes for the Phoenix. He's gonna turn into a Kunkka. Has an X in two seconds. The Torrent will not connect. Does he have the Adaptive Strike? Sorry, jumps in. He's gonna get stunned up. So much damage being done to him. And with a shotgun and the pull and butterfly effect in the end will be the one claiming maybe more if he gets a use they're off but now nah, they're gonna catch him in the back line the tremor doesn't connect but they have the stun and with the mortimer cases x never light will most likely die he's gonna get a fall up torrent from the morphling and he does go down now the specter coming in with the ulti he deletes the lena that's gonna be a nice kill morphling in some trouble he has a spirit vessel on himself but the manta still hasn't been used he's still uh, keeping it. Now the egg being used in the back line. It will definitely pop. Trying to heal his guys with the uh, Sunray. But nowhere is in the vicinity. Now they turn around on the Earth Spirit. And that's going to be a 2 for 2 fight. But Yang on. They did take from Butterfly Effect. He definitely could have caught this Kunkka multiple times. Tidal Wave there. Going to push the Morphling inside of the base. And now Butterfly Effect jumps in. He doesn't have a BKB. But does have a cheese at the yield. So he will be fine. He get the uh, X onto HRP. Immediately BKB. He jumps in on the Kunkka. They want the kill. But the egg in the back line. Is trying to heal up the Kunkka. X never light. He's still alive gonna be able to use the ship and hrp the first casualty the fight dodo might follow in his steps and that's gonna be the case even with the glimmer king he will die morphling in some trouble they get a stun on the phoenix trying to kill him he doesn't have the x so lunch should be going down but butterfly effect in the back lines he's getting the kill selena though getting caught here comes the stolen title wave no sorry that's the one from x neverlight who is still alive but will finally fall with butterfly effect getting the double he's the only one getting kills now lena getting caught last in some trouble but yukio is there not having the Aegis anymore he died once but will finish off the specter he has a double as well now going for Zorin. Zorin quite low, but does manage to survive the E-Blade. Now, they're turning onto the Kunkka, going in with the Adaptive Stripe, setting up. The Eater Remnant will be there. They still have the cheese, not using it on anyone, but Butterfly Fat can eat it right now. He wants to Dodo. The buyback is the last survivor, the last one standing. The stun will come out. They're not going to be able to use the Timber Trade. Pulled in and destroyed by Butterfly Effect, the beyond godlike streak for him. How to click right now, because they're getting completely annihilated by their opponents. And the next stop will definitely 
be the throne. The Phoenix, poor guy, gets destroyed. No buy. Can't believe it. So uh, Yango, they can't believe what their carry is doing. But despite his amazing skills, he'll still lose in a convincing fashion. Today we saw so many stomps. The first series was a complete...